Alrighty, welcome back to the jungle. We'll be playing more of the new Skarner. For the runes, we have Aftershock, Shield Bash, Conditioning, Overgrowth. Just a whole bunch of tankiness whenever we're going to be engaging. It's going to be with our E or with our ulti come mid-game. So, want to make sure that we can survive during that. And in the early game, Aftershock gives you damage. People forget about that part. You CC a bad guy, you get bonus resistances. And then it explodes around them. So, you can utilize that to actually add to your burst when you pin someone against the wall. Smite that bad boy. I could start my E or my W here. I kind of prefer the W. Get a shield. A little bit of AoE damage. Apply the passive. Using the E to get through the wall? You got me, Bob. Is it better? I don't know. And then for secondary runes, futures marketing cosmic. More playmaking potential. Especially more, uh, you know, where we can definitely have our items on the reset. That's a big part for Skarner. We really... Throw that rock right there. Close. We really like Boots Lucidity, and we really like Bomby Cinder. And regardless of what we have to do in the early game, I want to get those items when I recall. Futures Market helps us do that. So step one here, I want to get level three, and then I want to look for a play. Where mid lane had already died, that kind of makes things simple now, doesn't it? Use my health potion, and then we wait for Twitch to arrive, and that was fast. I'm going to use my ghost and get behind this guy. We're going to use the rock, and then E, moving. A swing and a miss. <laughs> Eat that, Buster. Volley Bear, are you in here, big man? Let me know. Now, these guys are under turret, so I don't exactly have a play. But I've already skipped my camp, so we might as well stay in the jungle here. So that if something like this happens, we can get in... Whoa, get involved! Run! Uh. Why would they have a ward right here, Bob? Hi, Dios. Boots. Control ward. And we're back at it. Listen, Skarner doesn't stop making these plays. I'm already level 3, we're not hit level 4, it might be a little messy, but we're gonna get the job done, okay? Let's get on down there. Mr. Volleybear, for all your 20 CS, I'm gonna have to take that Scuttle Crab, okay partner? Damn it, he got the Scuttle Crab. Okay, now it's time to farm. My lanes aren't in lane, we've already done our plays, and the enemy's gonna push their wave and then reset. So then that's my time to get level 4 here. And then on this next turn here, um, we start fighting for the objectives. So it would be good to be level 4, level 5, but I would have had to given up all early plays to be level 5. So for now, we're going to have to fight the Volley Bear level 4 to level 4 like a real man. And he's probably going to have better items, but it is what it is. <laughs> hey man, you shouldn't die in the enemy red side, okay? But when it happens, it's not the end of the world. I'm playing Bubbles Bungling b Big Dumbass right here, you know? A big ass tank, it's fine. <clears throat> As you can see, the clear speed's not bad either. I really like the boots early too. So much of what you do on Skarner is you get your power spike, so I'm level 4 now. And then you move into position, usually to flank the enemy. So although Scuttle Crab is there, I would really like to attempt a little play. So Q, E, moving. Picked him up, slam him, smack. Throw the Q, smack. Nice. If you throw the Q, it will slow them. If you reactivate it like that. And I want to say it also slows them if you just hit them with the third hit. Subscribe for more tips. I'm surprised Volibear's not here, Bob. If he's not, we will take as many Void Grubs as we can get. But that's the basics right there. You get your level up and then you go look for a play. Volibear's level 5, so... Let's go ahead and gank top lane. We won't have another chance for this one, that's for sure. So we're going to move right behind the poppy here. Try to use our E just to scoop him towards the Gragas like this. Whoa! Cancel the E. Q. Auto. Don't take the kill. And now let's help him push. Okay. Well, this makes things simple now with Volibear being bot side. We'll be playing for the Void Grubs. Okay, turn two. You want to get an objective and... We're lucky that the Volley Bear ganked bot lane, honestly, because it sets us up where we can do these Void Grubs uncontested. These give me a little bit of XP and keep us even in terms of the objectives. The Dragon's a little bit better this game, but hey, my Lucian's dead, so. Oh well. This will give us that level 5, and then we can continue to skip camps. Or we can do a full clear for level 6, so we'll see where the map is at once we finish these. Skarner is super healthy on doing these Void Grubs since you have that shield. Schmack. 
Schmack me. You have so much AoE on the Q and on the E. Let's reset. Instead of going back to the camps, they're not going to give us level 6 just yet. Better to spend my gold, get back on the map, and then, then we're talking. Let's go ahead and get level 6 as well. So, Boots Lucidity, Ruby Crystal. Um, I'll get a Control War 2, and off we go. Since we skipped our camps, it only takes about three of them to give us level 6. And once we're level 6, we'll have way more playmaking potential. One thing I'm looking at too is that the waves are bouncing back. Do I want to gank Poppy with the wave bouncing back? No! Twitch has already crashed. These guys have already crashed, so my gank opportunities are also gone. So now, it's time to farm. But just a little bit. That's what's kind of beast about Skarner. You only gotta farm like these three camps. If you ever find that you're kind of lost, it's probably because you're farming too much. Or too little. Hope that helps. Bob, with new players, it's hard to tell. They usually go one of two directions. They never farm or they always farm. And as we know, it's all good things in life. It's all about what is happening in the middle. Wish my Lucian would stop feeding. Schmack. We're maxing that Q out first. That gives us our clear speed. It gives us our damage on the ganks. And then the other abilities are more for the CC, so they definitely come in later. Yeah, Talon is not laning, so that kind of sucks for me. My bot lane's losing, so let's go ahead and enter the river on the top side. It's not where I want to be, but here we are. Twitch, I love you. Go ahead, let them know that that's warded. There's the volley bear, that's what we were expecting. Yeah, I can't really contend with volley bear since my talent is so low. So with Skarner's new ulti, you now grab the three nearest targets. So even if you end up missing the E like this, shibink, W, oh, close, eat this rock. Even if you miss the target with the E, you can still pull them back with that ulti. I'm going to let Thresh move through here, and then I can try to get another flank onto the Twitch here. So I really don't have any other plays afterwards. If you look at those blue side camps that are up, they don't give me a level up, so it's a bit awkward. At the very least, I can occupy the jungle here. Bobby's gonna crash, can't dive. That's where this champion kind of stinks, Bob. You can't really dive. Maybe I need to start flash ulting people, but that's how I feel right now. Pick up the rock, and then we're going to not be able to go in. <laughs> I guess I'll take the raptors, man. It's not what I want. A Skarner, it's all about the plays you can get off and. When your allies push them too close to a turret, it makes it very, very awkward. Hi, Volley Bear. You can't hit what you can't see. Let's reset. Nothing's happening. And then we can farm our camps. Bob. Why my lane's pushing so much? Bomby Cinder. And then the enemy has a lot of physical damage, so that makes it pretty simple. We'll get a cloth armor. Doesn't really matter what we're building this into, I'll be honest. The Bomby Cinder and the Boots Lucidity? Shebang, we're online. This is more smite, more flash. More ability haste, that means more Qs, more ultis. And that is super, super big for Mr. Skarner. If you have more Q, your life is good. That's more clear speed. That is more poke during the fight. That is more ulti so that you can do one play into another one. Well, I got my level up. My bot lane's freezing. You would think the enemy bot lane would stay. Okay. Ghost, moving. Alright, you want to pick up the rock, and then you maintain it with the E. Sh moving on in. Yes! Schmack. Schmack. Snatched him right, right away from the lantern. <laughs> I'll show you, big man. <laughs> yes. Yes, noob down. Honestly, let's stay. Let's say, screw farming. I should have just helped him push. Q into the river. W. And then we're gonna smite. Auto. E. Oh my. <laughs> he can't grab the lantern, Bob. <laughs> oh my god. Oh. Now we need to get an objective. Easier said than done. Because the Volley Bear still can just reset and kind of beat me up. So I'm going to do the blue buff here. And then kind of see what I can do to the lanes again. Because I still have ulti. I killed both Smolder and Volley Bear with just the E alone. 
As you can see with the clear speed, it's really based around how many times you can slam that big rock. Yes, Q. Waiting. Jesus Christ, what is that damage? I didn't have to wait at all. Holy sh... Talon, the man, Eclipse, Serrated, Dirk. Guys, I'm coming, I don't have E. I'm like old Skarner right here. Well, my team's too good now. A little bit of feeding to a little bit of, you're too good so I don't get a play. I really run into this problem often whenever I play tanks. If you win too hard, it's too boring. If you lose too hard, it's too boring. Here we are. Alrighty. It's 12 minutes, so we get that conditioning proc that gives us 8 armor, and then 8 magic resist, and it also gives you percentage of bonus magic resist. Hello? E, moving. Gotcha. Ulti. You're coming with me, Buster. Q? Nice. <laughs> Take a little snack on the way out. Alrighty, let's reset. We got some gold to spend. And then from here, honestly, I think it would be fine to complete Sunfire. It's 1400 away though, so I'm kind of in a lull. Hmm. Whatever. Let's go. I don't think it matters, Bob. Here, I'll do this. I'll pick up a Null Magic Mantle, and just like that, I'm the tankiest man alive. 300 HP, 40 armor, 25 magic resist. Look at this. 118, 83. Overgrowth also gives us a little bit of HP for free. A hundred. It's almost a ruby crystal. As we go back to the camps here, I'm looking to get a level up and then in position for my plays again. Every single time, Bob. Get that level up, go to the river, and make a play. You don't have to force the play, but that's where you want to be. That's where the good things are going to happen. No great things are going to come from you farming too many camps, that's for sure. Skarner only gets so strong. He's pretty well balanced in that sense. As a true tank of the jungle, unlike the abomination that is Rel. Twitch, I love you. Rock, ghost, moving. Wow, this guy is Audi Bob Shmouty, huh? Twitch, I love you. And, well, you only got so many places to go now. Even if you flash over the wall. Whoa, I missed? Phew. <laughs> uh. Let's go ahead and take his mid turret. What? Guys, I don't have E. There's a flip over the wall. Now, I can be an asshole, though. It's a bit different. I am the vanguard. Q. Schmack. Schmack. Q. Auto. He's fine. Ulti. You're coming with me, boys. W. Q. Auto. Moving. E. Slam him. Slam him. Q. Smite. Auto. Tanking. Moving. W. Nice. Dude. Dude! The plays that this champion can do is legit, like, unmatched. It's so crazy. To the top side. Sunfire Cape, and off we go. Now, Sunfire Cape is not a good first item. Particularly, I don't think it matters on Skarner. I think we just need okay items as we go. The main thing that you need is HP, Ability Haste, and then Resistances. So Sunfire Cave gives us 500 HP, 50 armor, and then we can go Abyssal Mask here, giving us the Magic Resist, HP, and Ability Haste. Okay, Volibear ulted. Too much, too much, too much, too much. Their whole team's here, Bob. Hit him with a rock. Whoa, E, W. <laughs> Tank the hook for my man. Step one with Volibear, get a boyfriend. Step two, have him beat everyone up that you don't like. Step three, have him buy you nice purses. Alrighty, their jungle and mid lane's dead. Let's take this Rift Herald here. The objectives are the name of the game. As any tank jungler, it's always going to be about how you attack the lanes, how you affect them, and then if you get the objectives or not. Always spending yourself for the allies and for the cause. Come on, guys. Your jungler's not even here. Go farm. Grow up. 
Focusing the Rift Herald. Job's done. 40 seconds to the dragon, so let's just go ahead and push mid. Sorty. Q. Q. Bitch. Eat that rock. Oh, ulti. Coming with me, boys. E. Whoa, not the best combo, eh? Smolder just flies away. See how beast that is, Bob? You can get engaged on and just turn it right around with that with that ulti. It's so good. Bink. W. Bink. You. Got me. You. Let's do dragon. Anytime you auto attack, then you're going to maintain the rock as well. So every time we slam the rock, that's 500 damage effectively. And then we get that about every 5 seconds. And that's pretty good. Sunfire Cape, slam the rock with the ability haste. That is not bad. Remember, we are a tank champion. We're supposed to be doing this dragon with our team. So, this solo speed isn't the worst I've ever seen. Let's get our components, get on the map here. I'm going to go right into the enemy's jungle because we're so much stronger. Two, yeah, two control wards. So we're so much stronger, so to farm my camps would give me a level 11. Eh, eh, another point in my ulti, an extra 100 damage, 10 seconds off it, doesn't really change things. But, if I slam into the enemy right now, Bob, beyond the calculations of if I'm stronger than the enemy, um, my Lucian has two items and is level 11 to the Smolder 1 item. Talon has almost three items to the enemy Twitch none. It's time to start a fight. It's time to be a total asshole, walk right in here. My jungle. I have a rock. Onto Volley Bear. Slam. W. Q. Smite. Ulti. Nice. Q. Q. If you use the ulti, you become... What is it? You become unstoppable. I don't know if it shows it in the text, though. So you become unstoppable, and you can clank that against the enemy CC, such as the Poppy ulti. Poppy, I love you. W. Oh, my bad. I tried to cancel the E. You can do that by recasting it. Phew. And yeah, get out of here. Yeah, that'll show you guys. Next step here is going to be the Baron. My team's just sieging and pushing until then. All I have to do is occupy this flank position. Actually, let's just drop Rift Herald. Get this bad boy done with. Q, W, E. Auto, auto, smite. And I helped. Remember to pick up the rock when you're hitting the structures. You get more attack speed at the very least. It says it deals structure damage. I'm not sure if that's true. It's time to reset. Wow, Futures Market is... Hello? Q, W, E. And I helped. Futures Market is crazy, Bob. I can get the Bissell Mask. Now this item is very, very good for... For Skarner. Come on, man. Leave me alone. You know you don't deal damage. Come on. I got too much HP. This item's pretty good for Skarner because it steals the enemy's magic resist, gives it to you, reduces theirs. I'm going to amp my Gragas, my Lucian, my Nami's damage. My passive deals percentage HP magic damage. And I'm going to be on top of everyone, effectively. So... Let's go ahead and get both these buffs, the blue buff and the red buff. They don't give us a level up, but they give everyone that buff, and then we can fight for Baron. Hundred CS at twenty minutes. What a life we're living here. And it won't be like this every game. Don't get me wrong; you're not gonna have winning lanes all the time. But that's the dynamic of Skarner, man. Whether you fought and won or fought and lost, at least you fought. Because there is nothing in between in terms of farming. It's what I quickly learned after playing a good handful of games on the big man. The big blue rock throwing insect of the desert. 
Oh, Volley Bear is dead. The easiest game ever, question mark. Let's do this. Everyone has blue buff and red buff now. Enemy jungler is dead. I don't know if there's ever been an easier Baron. As you win the early game, especially going into the mid game, if you get the Baron, that's how you end the game. This is where people get so lost. Is you, We can continue to get 12 more kills. That won't help us take their turrets as much as the Baron would. The Baron also gives your team golden XP. So it's just like farming or killing them anyways. Alrighty, I'm going to stay on the map here even though everyone reset. I really want to make a play. It's not about the dragon anymore because we've already won the game effectively. Q. W. Moving. Let's go ahead and back off here. Big man's going to be mad, eh? Auto. Auto. W. Ulti. Yeah. I'll just EM like this. <laughs> it's so funny when you shove a big ass champion like that. Skarner must be pretty in shape. Ghost moving. I really thought I'd find someone, Bob. I'm just gonna walk right into him here. W. Oh! And then ulti. Ah! Oh, close. As you can see, it's totally fine to get hit. It's totally fine to walk right into him and get hit, so long that you have your ulti up. You are the vanguard, Bob, and don't forget it. We got all these tank stats for a reason. You better not be behind the enemy. Oh, be behind your ADC. Trying to get onto the carries here. Oh, there he is. Weird. Shipping. Ah! Oh, I missed everyone. Run! Q. And I'm doing my job right here. Smite. Auto. W. Q. Q. And I helped. Oh! Okay. Remember, the rock for the structures, you get bonus attack speed. In case your ADC dies. GG, final score, 2, 1, and 15. Sunfire Cape dealing 700 damage. And that is that. Skarner, Skarner. I'm having so much fun on this champion. He reminds me of old Volley Bear, like this big, stupid asshole that just CCs the enemy. It's so fun, every single time. Pushing the big man, pushing the big ass Volley Bear around. I like that. I'll put us at Masters, 50 LP, final damage dealt 1100. Damage taken, 21,000, and the CC score at 30. Not too bad. Alrighty, thanks for watching. Be sure to leave a like and subscribe, and let me know which champion you want to see in the next video. Bye-bye. See ya. Bye. See ya. Bye!